Well, that didn't go as planned. No luck? Well, I have an idea. I'll use my magic to create some minions that can help you track this guard down. Good idea. It'll work, trust me. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, and we're on to night two, and I decided to start the video at the cutscene, which is what I will be doing for the next couple videos from now on. But anyways, what is going on, you guys? This is Andrew Roboto here, and welcome back to Five Nights at Dark Pits. So, and we will take on night two without further ado. And let's see who we're going to be dealing with for night two, because... There's going to be some new characters. I have my suspicions. And we get a phone call, of course. Well, look at that. You made it past your first night on the job. Thanks for taking my advice. I'm not really the best at giving it, though. We got your report on what you saw last night. Eh, we checked the footage you sent us so we could see it. And you weren't kidding when you said you saw an angel dressed in black walking around the place. Funny enough, I actually know that guy. Dark Pit, I think his Yeah, that's was. Dark, that he is Dark Pit. He was an incomplete clone of Pit or something. I met him when I first came here to apply to the manager of the temple. From what I've seen, he was a bit of an arrogant guy. Hey, that reminds me. Over the past few days before Pit and Palatino left for vacation, Dark Pit has shown some strange behavior. Not like his usual self. Sometimes even aggressive. I don't know if he does that sometimes, but what I do know is that this is unusual for him. I have my own monitor I carry around that's connected to the cameras in the temple, so I used that to see if Dark Pit was doing anything in there. And I saw that he had some friends with him. One of them looked strangely similar to Palatina. The other ones looked unfamiliar to me. I watched them as much as I could and saw that they were all practicing some sort of attack. The Palatina lookalike seemed to teleport into the kitchen on Cam 10 at random times before teleporting to one of the hallway corners. And after a moment of standing there while the door was closed, she teleported to the other side that was open before disappearing. The second one slowly headed towards the vent that connects the meeting room to the right hallway before crawling through it and dashing through the hall. I couldn't see them running because they were quite fast, but I presume that they were probably heading for your office. I don't know why, but I feel suspicious about what Dark Pit and his little gang are up to. So just for safety, I say keep your guard up more. If that fall chain will look like teleports to a hall corner, Close the door to the side she's at immediately until she teleports to the other side, and then keep that side shut until she leaves. Now for the other one, check cam 6 as much as you can, and use the button on the camera that allows you to close the vent whenever you need to. Closing the vent door there raises the temperature in the cellar, but nothing bad really happens in there yet, so don't worry. But if by chance they do get through, close the right door as fast as you can. The downside is that they might bang in the door which drains power, so I don't recommend that. One last thing. After your shift, be sure to visit my room at the motel, and we'll come up with a plan of how we can get to the bottom of this. I'm going to leave it to you. Good night. Okay, so we're going to be dealing with a dark a dark version of Palutena and some unfamiliar character, which I'm not familiar with. Okay, so we got to start checking the, the meeting camera room, because that's where Palutena and some other character is going to be. And Palutena is going to teleport, so we got to be on our guards. And then and then I gotta continue checking the the doors for Dark Pit. Oh, I hear teleporting. That's that's Dark Palutina right in the kitchen. So next time she teleports she'll be in one of the corners, like this right corner right here, and we have to close the door. Until she leaves. And I gotta check the meeting camera too to see who we're dealing with in that camera. Okay. I see someone there, so I gotta close the vent soon. Oh, Palutina's in the left door. Gotta close it. Let me go check the meeting camera. I feel like I gotta close the vent right now. Dark Palutina left, I think.
Okay, where'd Dark Palatina go? Okay, she's in the kitchen. Good. And this animatronic is in the... Where'd you go? Oh, Palatina's in the right hallway. Gotta close the door. And I gotta check for Dark Pit, too. So let's go check for him. And I gotta listen for P Dark Palatina's movement. Oh, she's at the, the left door. Close it. Open the right. Okay, so... There's that, that, there's the unfamiliar character I'm talking about. Okay, where'd Dark Polyatina go? Okay, I think she's back in the kitchen or something. I don't know. She probably moved back to the meeting room. I don't know where she came to. And I gotta go check for Dark Pit. Okay. I believe that's Dark Palutena or something. I don't know who that is, but I have the vent door closed. There's some unfamiliar character in this night. I don't know who it is. Let me know in the comments who we're dealing with that runs because I just don't know. Okay, did I just keep... Okay, I heard running. Okay, good. Okay, so that means that unfamiliar animatronic was the one running. And I gotta check for Dark Pit, because he's about to come soon. Okay, we can open the vent again, since nobody's there. Okay, Dark Pit is here. Good thing I closed the right door. Okay, close the vent. Let me see where Palutena went. Okay, she's in the kitchen. Good. And the unfamiliar character is... Oh, where'd Palutena go? Okay, right door. Good. Close it. And then the unfamiliar character is in the vent is about to go in the vent, so that's why I closed it. Okay, she's at the right door. Close it, and I'll open the right door. Palutena just teleported back to where she started. And now I gotta go check for Dark Pit. And then Dark Palutena I just dealt with, so... And let me go check on the unfamiliar animatronic. I think she's about to go in the vent, that's why I closed it, so... Check for Palutena. Dark Palutena, also known as... I really don't know the name, so I'm just gonna call her Dark Palutena. Okay, she's in the kitchen, good. Check for Dark Pit. Oh, she's in the left hallway. I gotta close it. Close the door. And Dark Pit's coming from the left side, too. So I gotta do it. It surprises me that Dark Pit comes from both the left and the right side. I didn't think he would come from both sides, but he does. And I know Dark Palutina comes from both sides, too. Oh, I gotta close the door, because Dark Palutina just moved to the right. Let me go check for Dark Pit. He's not there, so I can open the door for now. Unfamiliar animatronic is still in there. Oh, Dark Pit came. Dark Palutina left, so I can open the door. I'm running low on power, so I gotta be careful. Oh, she just got in the vent. Okay. Okay. Okay, so when she gets in the vent, it means we have to... Um... We have to close the door. And then we can open the vent again.
Yeah, I don't have to worry about losing power since we're almost tonight to 6 a.m., so that's a good thing. Okay, I'll shut the vent since she's there right now. Alright, and we've beaten night two, and we've gotten the wonderful music again with the alarm clock, so that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, so let's see what's next. Okay, so the next thing is the cutscene for night three, which we will pick up from there for when we take on night three in the next video, so I will end my video here. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please hit the like button. Also, comment and subscribe. I appreciate all the support you have given me. Hit the bell to receive all notifications of upcoming videos on my channel. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.